everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my living room for this week's midweek mini frugal living vlog. If you are a brand new viewer, I hope I earn your subscription. It means a lot to me when you subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. Well, let's kick off this video with a thrift store haul just got back from the thrift store. Let's go ahead and get into this haul so I can show you what I got this week. First up, let's take a look at these washcloths. These might actually be little hand towels or dish towels. The original price was $5 and that's what I paid for them. It looks like they're brand new, never open. So I thought that was a really good deal. And it looks like they're geared towards the fall season, but I'll use them year round. Really pretty. Next up is another seasonal item, and this is an angel ornament. I thought she was very precious and she was just a dollar and she was full price. So I was happy to get her. I'm gonna add her to the Christmas tree. Then I got this four pack of ledgers, or it says columnar pad, or is that columnar pad? Well, anyway, it's got one, two, three columns in it, so I thought that would be good for bookkeeping, and I like to have office supplies like this on hand, and I got this for $3 on sale. Good deal. This ended up being the best deal. These are pajamas for Christmas, and it's made by Mary Lane. It actually still had the tags on it. I couldn't believe that this was from the store Belk. And these were $62.50 originally. You don't usually find things at the thrift store like this, at least I don't, that, have, that are new with tags on it. So I was excited to see this. And originally this was $5 and I got it on sale for $3.75. So I just thought that was a really great price for something so nice that happened to be brand new. So I'm excited to get these washed up and start using them right away. But I'm really happy with my thrift store haul. I like this orange bow. I think I can do something with that. Oh, I like these. That's really cute. Let's get these washed up. Looks like snow. I'll show you my poncho. I got this from the thrift store for $1.25. It was originally $5. It's so nice. It's like having your own personal blanket. These little penguins were so cute for December, but I gotta flip because it's already January. Oh wait, I need a brand new calendar. <laughs> I get my calendars from the thrift store and I wait for it to go on sale. All right, we have a beautiful bison for January. Wow, look at that scenery, pretty nice. I have these leftover salad greens. Okay, I got that added. I'm just gonna put the plate on top of the bowl like that and let it sit for a few minutes. Okay, let's check on this. This looks pretty good to me. This is my lunch. Oh, I forgot one thing. We're gonna add some shredded provolone. I've got a handful of that right on top. Time to replace this. I bought the kitchen sink shroom to match the one I already have. 
was really difficult to open. I had to break out the utility knife. All right. Look at me getting all fancy. I had the tub shroom in the bathroom, but I really did not like it. I'm glad I just replaced that with something that cost me $3.50 at the local hardware store. I had this for a while in the freezer. Let's get it cooked up. Add a little pepper. Or a lot of pepper. Some salt. Air fry this. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and then slice it up. Looks pretty good. I've already eaten my last meal of the day, so I'm going to save this for tomorrow. But I just needed to go ahead and get it all cooked up. To the mini fridge! All right, it's the next day and we're gonna make a little steak sandwich out of this. Let's go ahead and slice this up. Oh, that looks good. Let's warm it up. All right, let's check on the steak. Hey, that looks good. All right, while that's finishing, I have got my tortillas and this is from a couple food pantry hauls ago. And then I've got some spinach artichoke dip and we're gonna get this all dolled up. Okay, we've got the dip added to the tortillas. Oh yeah, steak's ready. Ooh, chipotle ain't got nothing on me. Let's get the pepper added. Oh yeah. And what we've got here is little steak bites on top of artichoke spinach dip on a flour tortilla with the beautiful black pepper. Doesn't that look good? Okay, let's give this a try. Well, this is really good. I would definitely make this again. Looks like my storm door needs to thaw out. I got some kind of frost on the inside of it. I'm just making a simple salad. I've got the greens, a little salt, a little pepper, and I'm heating up the rest of this steak. And here is my steak salad. I've just got some salad greens, salt, and pepper, and I heated up the leftover steak. And thank you to Burgita for recommending that I heat up the protein for my salads. This is gonna be really good. I took my beautiful black curtains, which look like a fake linen, but it, it looks really nice. I got those from the thr thrift store for 50 cent a panel. And I put them on the little clip curtain rings so I can easily open this up. So that helps. I don't think it's the most beautiful, but it's functional, so I'll take it. What do you think? Do you think I should keep it or put the curtains back on the rod directly? I like the clips, but what do you think? Time to make some labels. This is what I always say to the plants. Live, plants, live. All right, let's add these to the plants. So for the plant update, the poinsettia is still doing pretty good. These have died back, but I'm hoping that they'll come back. And this petunia is doing fantastic. Look at all those little yellow flowers. How beautiful is that? I never expected the plant from the dump to do so well. The spider plant has died back, but I'm trying to revive it. So we'll see what happens. My mini fridge started to freeze my salad kit, so I let it thaw out for a few minutes. Now let's get this lunch together. That's what I'm keeping and that's what I'm removing. Add this salad dressing. Get 
Okay, this is stir and dried tomatoes. Crumbled feta. Looking good. Chickpeas and what is that? Breadcrumbs? Breadsticks. Now what's next? Pepper. Pepper. A little bit of pepper. A little salt. Let's add this pink salmon. Here's my food pantry salad. I've got the salad kit with a can of salmon added to it. And I just picked through the salad to remove any pieces that I did not like. It was a little wilted, but it'll work for me. Yes, Amazon came through. I've got these little hooks and we're gonna get the wreath on the door. Let's give it a try. Put one hook there, one hook here, two hooks. Let's make some tea. I drink so much chamomile tea that I have to order it in bulk. Did you have a favorite part to tonight's video? I made a few different kinds of meals. What did you think of those steak tacos? That looked really good. It actually tasted really good too. What did you think of those brand new Christmas pajamas? I've got to get those washed up so I can start wearing them. The weather's gotten really cold here, and it looks like it's going to snow. The forecast keeps saying flurries, but when I look out, I don't see any. I'm so glad I got my Christmas wreath up. Better late than never. I tried to put it on my door with the magnetic hooks, but it just kept sliding down. And then I got to thinking, well, I've got this coat rack, and that should be fine because I've got hooks on that and they're real sturdy, and I haven't had any trouble with it at all. I'm going to keep that up as long as I keep my Christmas tree up, which is probably going to be at least another week, maybe two. It really means a lot to me when you subscribe, and for all of you new viewers, I hope I earned your subscription, and for all of the returning subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers. It's hard for me to believe, and I'm so excited about it. The channel is growing, and it's been a really wonderful adventure for me, and I'm so glad you're here along for the ride. And remember, I've got a new food pantry haul video coming up on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. I hope you can make it. Until then, have a great weekend. Be safe, and I'll talk to you soon.